as we're out there, you just couldn't help but stop and pause and look at the mountain range. It was just so cold and crisp, but the, there was nothing, not a cloud in the sky, just perfectly clear skies and clear views. It was, it was a beautiful morning. didn't realize is that there were seven peaks between us and the mountain lion and by the time we got there it was about two and a half miles of walking not just walking through the trees but in deep snow with snowshoes on and uh, a little bit of a workout we, we slipped and fell quite a bit going up and down the hills But that final last hill we come over, you could tell instantly, okay, this is where it's at. The dogs that were walking with us were getting excited, and we kind of had one last obstacle. We had to climb over a big, huge tree that had fallen down in front of us, and uh, a little awkward to get up and over the tree, but still a lot of fun to, to jump over that and then look up and see the dogs just run in circles around this tree, and a big old mountain lion just laying down up in the tree looking at them. My mind is just kind of racing because I'm not as experienced as these guys with the dogs. My first thoughts were, is, I think this is a dog. I think, I think this is the cat we're gonna take. And so I'm super anxious and excited. When I walk up to the tree, and identify the cat as first of all that is one of the most beautiful animals I've ever seen because those things are just gorgeous. Fortunately for her we're just after males and we uh, just got a chance to take some cool photos and and reminisce on the day.